Hello everybody. Welcome to the Onk Homestead. I'm Stone Jay. I want to talk to you about two things that you absolutely have to manage uh, if you want to be successful. You have to manage this in the planning stage before you jump out here. Uh, and you're going to have to manage it constantly throughout your homesteading effort. But these two things, managed properly, will help you be very successful. I've watched dozens and dozens of videos, mostly YouTube, um, and read dozens of articles and books, and I've talked to so many old-timers. Uh, they are our true resource people that live this way because they had to and that's the way things were back then those two things that I've learned that you absolutely have to take care of whether you like it or not um, you know just you got to do it number one time you have to manage time Nobody can do anything about that for you. Uh, time is what it is. Uh, I'm not going to get into a philosophical debate on whether or not past, present, and future are relative, and it, we're not we're not dealing with quantum theory here. Uh, just time. Now, as a homesteader, time is going to affect you in a couple of different ways. Number one, throw out the clock, forget the clock, um, specific to homesteading. If you have offsite things to do like a job or appointments, that's, that's different. But if you really wanna make a run at homesteading, you need to change your perception of time. It's not gonna stop for you, so. You know, um, look at it from the point of view of two things. Number one, daytime versus nighttime. Um, common sense. This is the way homesteaders and farmers have lived for hundreds of years. And folks have survived by whether or not it's light out or dark out for thousands of years build your tasks around daytime and nighttime and I know somebody's out there saying well I've got lights and you know I've got outdoor lights and there's lights in my barn and lights in my shop and, and these kind of things uh, you know good for you not everybody does daytime and nighttime uh, Outdoor tasks, especially, especially manual labors, specifically things that could be dangerous, obviously do them in the daytime. Um, indoor tasks, things in the house, food preservation, basic cleaning, laundry, um, unless you're completely off-grid and, and uh, doing laundry by hand, save those for nighttime because we generally have light in our house, even if it's just an oil lamp or bunch of candles uh, so split your time your tasks based on your need for light daytime and nighttime the other time consideration for homesteading that's really important are seasons so you only have four things there to worry about uh, unless you're up here where we're at and you have 18 of them because you can get every one of them in a single day uh, but your seasons, your seasons will dictate what you can and can't do, especially uh, for things like egg production, gardening, pruning, um, some places, fence work. You can't do it in the wintertime. Uh, the ground is just unforgiving in the winter. Uh, some places you can't do things in late spring or mid fall because the ground is just so wet. 
So plan around your four seasons. What's appropriate tasking on a homestead for those four seasons? So those, those two issues of time, daytime and nighttime, and the four seasons. The other thing to manage effectively for time is pursuing the goals that you have don't overwhelm yourself by getting into 42 different tasks at one time. Make a list of what your tasks are and prioritize them. Start with, on the days that you feel good, start with the, uh, the most important things and get them done. Work that task until it's done. Scratch it off the list. On the days you maybe don't feel so good or your big tasks are done, then you can knock out a whole bunch of the little ones that aren't really critical, but need to get done. Okay. Don't, if you're going to live this lifestyle, don't make yourself a slave to the clock on the homestead. Off the homestead, you do what you got to do. But on the homestead, you know, setting your alarm for 6 a.m. and working until 9 or 10 p.m. Uh, seven days a week, because this is a seven-day-a-week deal, folks. <laughs> you better get over that. Uh, there are no days off. Um, but change your concept of time and realize that uh, homestead is a natural lifestyle, and nature doesn't give a damn about your, your 915 uh, high octane latte it, it just she doesn't care is it daytime or nighttime set appropriate tasks what season is it set appropriate tasks the other thing you need to consider with time is if it's uh, if there's things on the homestead uh, my my Specific example is uh, if you have dairy of any sort, just realize, do you want milk? Do you want homemade butter, homemade cheese? Do, you know, do you want these things, uh, dairy produ products? You better be ready for that. Uh, if you want those things, you get your butt up. You go out and you do your morning milking. Um, for some animals, you go out and you do your evening milking as well. Again, nature. She doesn't care if you don't want the milk. She doesn't care if you don't want the butter. She doesn't care if you don't want to make the cheese. That animal needs to be milked. If you don't have baby animals on it, guess who that falls on? You. So be prepared to give up time for those kind of tasks, whether you like it or not. The second thing that a lot of people have talked about, but very few people have really looked into um, and explained with any kind of detail, <coughs> is organization. You have to be organized. I've heard a lot of warnings and I agree a thousand percent you need to be organized. You need to have a plan from uh, the very beginning of figuring out where you want to have your homestead, what state, what country, whatever, what kind of home you want to have, etc., etc. Be very organized. When you get there, be very organized about how things are going to come together. Don't try and do everything at once. You'll be overwhelmed. Chances are you're going to fail and it's going to be costly. So be organized. Make make lists if you have to. Um, be organized. So I don't know. Whatever works for you, but you got to do it. Uh, there's no way around it. Do yourself a favor. Make life easy. Uh, homestead life is not necessarily easy. Um, it's very simple. It's not easy. So those two things, folks. Always keep an eye on those two things. They are. Uh, to me, priority number one, number two, 
when you are living this lifestyle, especially if you are going to make a go of it um, long term. So time and organization. Good luck to you and thanks for watching. Uh, welcome to Onk Homestead and please subscribe, share and visit us on Facebook. Take care.